Okay, let's consider this second example here using superposition. Now, superposition allows us to analyze this circuit by considering the effect of one source at a time, and that is a zero in the other sources. So we're gonna consider right now the two milliamp source acting on its own, okay? So let's have a look at that. We'll redraw the circuit, so here we go, I've got my two milliamps, I've got my resistor sitting here. Yep, so this is the 1K resistor. Uh, the 10 volt is being replaced or zeroed, that's replaced with a short, it's a voltage source. We've got a 4K resistor sitting over here. Okay, and we're gonna zero the current source, which means doing what? Which means leaving that guy basically as an open, all right? That's the circuit we're dealing with. This is IX, but we're gonna call it a component of IX that is IX prime, all right? And we're gonna see if we can find that component. So look, what do we have here? We have two milliamps basically with basically two resistors here. And so this two milliamps is gonna divide between here and here, it is current division. So we can say this current going in this direction, of course, would be what? It would be IX, prime, but it would be a minus, wouldn't it? Because I'm defining Ix going in this direction. It's current division. So take the opposite resistor, which is the 4K, divided by the sum of the two, which is the 4K plus the 1K, and it is multiplied by that two milliamps. All right? So what is this? This is simply going to be equal to what that's four divided by five, multiplied by two milliamps, and so, for, so therefore that I of X prime is equal to a minus 1.6 milliamps. So we have the component now due to that two milliamp source acting on its own. So now let's consider the 10 volt source acting on its own. So this is our 10 volt source, okay? means we've got to zero the others, all right? So we're going to zero that two milliamps, which means we make that an open. So what does our circuit look like? Well, we're going to have our 10 volts sitting here. And there it is. I've got my resistor sitting down here. That's the 1K resistor. I've got my 4K resistor sitting over here. But... I'm going to zero this current source, so that's just replaced with an open. And I'm going to zero this current source over here. And so once again, that is just replaced really with an open. Okay, so that's the circuit we're dealing with, 10 volt source acting on its own. And we're trying to find then a component of IX due to that 10 volts. We're going to call that component IX double prime. Okay, now let's think about this. It's a very simple circuit, isn't it, really, of just a voltage source and really two resistors. So the current is really going in this direction. And so we could say that what Ix double prime is simply going to be equal to really a minus, isn't it? And it's going to be this 10 volts divided by the resistance in the circuit, which is really 5K. And so we can say it is a minus what? 2 milliamps due to the fact that we've got the 10 volts acting on its own. Now we're going to consider the 4 milliamp source acting on its own. So that's the 4 milliamp source. All right, redraw the circuit. So here we go. There's my 4 milliamp source. All right, coming across. Got my 4K resistor sitting here, that's 4K. Now the voltage source, which sits here, we're gonna replace that with what? A short, that's how we zero that voltage source. So there it would be there, zeroed. We've got our 1K resistor sitting over here. So there's 1K. And as far as the current source is concerned, to zero that, we just leave it as an open, okay? And we're trying to find this current, which is a component of IX, due to the four milliamp source, we're simply gonna call that IX triple prime. Once again, it's a very simple circuit, isn't it? Really, it is just a 
two resistors, current source, it is current division. And so we can say that Ix triple prime is equal to the opposite. We want to find the current in that branch. It's the opposite, so it's 4k divided by the sum of the two, which is 4k plus 1k, and that is multiplied by 4 milliamps. Okay, and so if we work this out, it comes out to be 3.2 milliamps, and it is going in the Ix triple prime direction. Okay, so we want to find Ix, and we can say Ix then is equal to Ix prime plus Ix double prime plus Ix triple prime, and that is equal to a minus 1.6 milliamps, minus 2 milliamps, and then plus that 3.2 milliamps. And so therefore, Ix is equal to a minus 0 0.4 milliamps. And look, I think you can see that finding each component was very simple. And so this is a very powerful technique, providing we are dealing with linear circuits. All right, why don't you have a look at this particular problem over here, okay? Now, what am I after? I'd like you to find the voltage Vx with respect to this reference point over here, and I'd like you to actually use superposition to do this. So give this a go. Remember, it's one source acting at a time, zeroing the other sources. See what you think. And look, when you're ready, come on back and we'll work this problem together.